We're here in Fieberbrunn and it's the official face check. I'm joined by Drew Tabke. The face is much bigger than the, the previous <laughs> venues we've seen on the tour so far. Drew, tell me about this face we have behind us. So the Wild Sea Loader, it's, it's been a staple on the tour for many years. That means we kind of know every single line that's possible. We've seen it in big snow, thin snow. It's a little bit of a low snow year, but we've had great snow this week. What that means is some of the biggest features are closed. Some of the winning lines of past years are just too rocky. They're closed for safety. That's kind of pushed us onto the perimeter, but that leaves this incredible spine feature on the top lickers right. And then this classic lower section with the gully. There's also the backflip kickers to the left and other jumps to the right. So you got big mountain free ride on the top and a nice bench and then kind of a freestyle section in the bottom. It's pretty ideal. I'm all, what do you think about this face? Yeah, finally, it's a big mountain. After the last competitions, it's a small faces and flat. And finally, here is a big mountain steep. Do you know how fast you're coming out of the, the top of the venue uh, when you hit this? Yeah, it depends the line. Bit. Last season, I take a lot of speed because I dropped just in the mandatory couloir. I dropped one double just in the middle and then going a straight line to the bottom of the face, maybe 100 kilometers for. So you've ridden the venue five times already. Do you know the line which you're going to ski before you get here, or does it all come down to this face inspection? Uh, that's funny because I have already my line before to come here because I remember all the lines from the skiers and snowboarders during the few years. So yeah, I was like, okay, I know what I want to do this year. There are many jumps in there, lots of opportunities uh, to get air. Do you have anything, anything lined up? Any tricks that you'd like to uh, to put down? I think it's going to be something for going big and straight this year. And yeah. fast. And fast, for sure. I have the gun for that, so yeah. No, maybe no tricks, but something big and fast. Elias, you're a local in this area. Where do you think your the, the strengths in your lines are? Do you think it's like putting the, the freestyle elements? It's always a balance. I, I like the technical riding too. When, when you know that moment when you're actually riding straight you're not doing any tricks but you're really challenged mm -hmm. that's a great moment to feel when you're still in control so i love that moment but yet i i guess what i look forward to the most on any riding day is, is the natural hits anywhere <laughs> i think we might be similar in that regard that we're just like scoping the terrain for like okay where can i take off where can i fend landings and that's for sure what makes me most excited Hedvig won here last year. It was the first event she ever won. Have you got added pressure uh, since that's the case in the past? No, I don't think so. More no. confidence? I feel confident and it's really good to be back to a face that I've skied before because then, then you know a little bit what's coming. And last year was so challenging because every face was new to me. So it feels really good to just have that year in the back and now come and uh, do it again. Hedvig's strengths by choosing her runs usually consist of freestyle tricks and solid skiing. What are we going to see this year on this venue? Are we going to see some more tricks? Are we going to see faster skiing? What have you got in store for us? I think this face is, for me, it's like perfect. You have both. You have this steep face, you have big cliffs, but you also have that playful terrain. So for sure, my, my, my goal is to ski fast in between the drops and the features and for sure I want to do a maybe a backflip maybe something else I don't know we'll see how it looks so there you have it a lot of the riders are really excited about that top steep technical section and all that playful terrain in the lower part of the venue with all this fresh snow and the pressures of qualifying for Verbier we're in for one of the best comps of the season